So are we taking up the step or are we leaving the step? Well, can you see how it's sunk down? We don't know because I think part of the problem is this is an inaccessible hole here because there's a, like a wall or bulkhead here. So I can't see into that spot to even see what it looks like. So I have no idea what I'm up against. Well, it looks pretty solid. I think it's fine. I really do. It's fine. I think it's fine. That is the answer. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Are you making fun of me? <laughs> no, no. I'd never do that. <laughs> Two years ago, we purchased a hurricane damaged boat with the dream of sailing her around the world. Together with our kids, we've been learning, laughing, and working to make this dream come true. This is the story of our adventures on a sailboat named Spoon Drifter. Other 462 owners had reported that there was no support under the mizzen mast steps. What are you doing? Cutting an access hole so I can see what's in there. Todd felt it was important to double check ours. There was evidence that this board had been removed previously, but we had no idea what, if anything, had been done about this potential problem. So there is something pretty solid here. I don't know if it's been added by somebody or what. I told you somebody might have done that. Yeah, somebody might have. So it does go across there. Now you have a hole, what are you gonna do? Fill it back in. Dig a hole, fill it back in. So. And now you can say that we know that there's support under the mizzen mast. That's right. I can say that. That's right alongside of that. I think it's fine. <laughs> Looks like this is hard. We filled this area that was uneven with thickened epoxy. All right. We're getting this done. I hope so. Watch it. So close. this floor is not going to be perfect, and it's not going to look beautiful. You can see here we've got delamination going on. It it's just rough. Sometime in lands far away, we'll find the time and the right material to replace them with something a lot of work and we just want to get in the water and get enjoying this lifestyle so yeah I'm not too worried about it we just want to float our boat supposed to flash for 15 minutes but the last time we did this it took three hours because it was a thicker trowel because it's designed for a flooring that doesn't have a cross hatching on the bottom and this has a cross hatch and we need some of the product to go up into the thicker cross hatch in order to grab that we discovered on the other floor remember see our other video where our floor failed because we used a too thin of a trowel What are you doing? Standing on it. What? I'm standing on it. You're rolling out the floor? Yes. Pressing it down? This chubbiness is good for something. <laughs> <laughs> way it fits better. That's better? This is why it wouldn't come off. Yeah, I know. Well, we don't want to do that again. What are we supposed to do to fix it? Well, I couldn't even get it in earlier at all. I had to sand it down. You know, I want it to fit kind of snug, but I, I'm afraid of sanding too much off.
That's better. Mucho better. We need to treat our aluminum for corrosion. Uh, the bottom of the masts, the steps, the uh, mast partners, the collars, um, any, any of these aluminum pieces need to be treated for corrosion. So what we're using for that is a product called Alumabrite, which is basically a cleaner and a prepper that you know removes all greases, oils, dirts, and, and uh, some of that oxidation off of the aluminum. And then uh, it's basically Alodyne, MCR 1201, the new name for Alodyne, at least through this company, Arrow. And that is a, a converter that converts the aluminum into a non-corrosive state. Let's come over and do the math first. Watch out, I don't want to splash this on you. See what I'm wearing, all the protective gear? That is pretty stinky stuff. But it's just supposed to soak into the pores of the metal. It doesn't actually, it's not a coating that coats it, it converts it. It's a chemical that converts the corrosion into some, you know, oxidizes it or something so that it doesn't continue to corrode. It's like a rust preventer from metal. Well, and I'm not a chemist, so I don't know the actual formula. I just know that this is what it said to do. How's that? This one's dead too. Oh no. Alright. Unfortunately my back here has about had it. I am running out of zipper. Need a new bag? Uh -huh. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's looking like a mess. Hard part is gonna be that one right there because no way in hell I can do it with this. You are on film. No way in hell I can do it with this. Did you get that? Potty mouth. Need my handy dandy mantis headlamp out of there. We're knocking your teeth out with your flashlight. That's right. We filled the previous bolt holes with thickened epoxy and then drilled new holes into different location to ensure a good connection. We're committed now. After much discussion, we decided to go with 3M4000 as a semi-permanent adhesive. You think that's enough? The whole thing? No, not even close. These holes I don't want to have filled up with stuff. <laughs> yeah, that would be bad. So I'm going to put some tape over them so that it doesn't get in there. Why is that hole rusty? It's not rusty, it's the socket is rusty.
our clean, pretty thing is now rusty, dirty. It's just dust. Is that prettier? Okay. All right. One Main mast. mast step is in. High five. It appears to line up with our hole. That's a good sign. So we put all this paint on here to help the flooring stick. Now we get to move it again. Most of this is bottom paint and it weighs a ton due to the additives that are in it. I have a piece of paper that I have found that has our measurements on it. Wow, it's warm back here. Holy cow. Alright, 16 and 13. Pretty dang close right there. 16 and 13. That is pretty close. There we go. Two down. Okay, when do we put the masks up? Tomorrow! What do we have to do before we put the masts up, dear? We still have to wire the masts. And put the and spreaders put the back on. on. And reconnect all the new rigging points. That should only take us a day. Oh, okay. I am optimistic. You don't think so? <laughs> How many days did it take us to put these things on? How many days did it take us to do the work? Three. I mean, come on. That was only about three days worth of work. Like, full on work. 24 hours. Whatever. <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> Todd had more work that he had to go do. Yeah, I still do. And he has to start some more work tomorrow. So, having a job. Well, we don't have a job, but we have work that we have we're work. responsible for. But, you know, it's just. <laughs> And both projects just take a while. Okay, three I days. Think, I think we spent probably, I'll bet you we spent 25% to maybe a third of that time looking for parts, tools, missing items. I think Katie needs to come home. Yeah, Katie needs to come Katie home. Katie needs to come home. Okay, so you asked what do we still have to do before we can put up the masks? We have to put the lights on the top, the anchor light and the running light halfway down, the steaming light. We have to put the spreaders back on. And put the spreader lights on. We have to put on. the Windex on top. We have to put all the wiring in it and wire all the lights and the like the VHF radio and VHF antenna. Okay, and we um, have to finish the And we have to finish collars. painting, uh, leveling and painting the uh, partner area as well. Okay. So there's a little bit of work and before then they go up. where we've got the new rigging where it goes through the mast. All the new rigging has to go on. Uh, and we have to finish putting the chain plates right. on. Okay, so... I don't think it's one day. I no. think it's a little more than one day. <laughs> it's probably more than one day. <laughs> All right, we will see you next week. And just keep your fingers crossed for us that we can stay on task and get this boat in the water. Okay, what time is it? I don't know. My stomach says it's past dinner time. Well, let's see. It's Not only 5.30. We still have really? an hour and a half. We could put on some chain plates. We got the, we got the, we got these, right? 
we got what we were needing to put the chain plates on. Yep. So let's do it. Let's do it. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And if you enjoyed our efforts, give us a like and share with your friends. See you next week.